Rogue has some of the best barbells on the market. They have pure Olympic and powerlifting bars, as well as specialty and multi-purpose bars. I'll be going over what I think their best offers are, but just know that all these bars are incredible, regardless of which one you decide to get. First up today, we have Olympic bars. Olympic bars are gonna give you a lot more whip in the barbell, so when you're doing something like a snatch and a clean and jerk, it's gonna be a lot easier getting it from the floor. And on top of that, they must have smooth rotating sleeves. And the biggest factor is that Olympic bars have to withstand the force of being dropped repeatedly from overhead positions. But these factors make pure Olympic bars a little pricier than other bars. Still, they're absolutely worth it if you plan on being competitive in the Olympic lifts. The best Olympic bar that Rogue has to offer is the Pyros bar. This bar was developed with the help of three-time gold medalist Pyros Dimas. The main feature he laid out for a better bar but included the following, a more aggressive knurling and a more controlled spin. This basically allows for a better grip on the bar while also making the lifter feel more connected to the weight. And while Rogue is actually going through the process of making this bar, they provided Pyros with bars made from different materials, including various types of steel, different knurl textures, and different sleeve lubricants. Rogue finally got it perfect, and Pyros told them that they should name it the Pyros Bar, which is exactly what they did. Considering this bar is approved by a legendary Olympic gold medalist, you know it has to be an incredible Olympic bar. If you want the absolute best Olympic bar Rogue Fitness sells, this is the one. Next up for the budget Olympic bar that they have, Rogue's 28mm Trading Bar in Black Sink is probably their... their best budget option they have available. Basically, this training bar is a couple hundred dollars cheaper than the Pyros bar as it doesn't have all the same premium materials. However, that being said, this bar is great for intermediate lifters that want the same feel of using a competition style Olympic barbell. If you're interested in more of a middle of the road training bar for Olympic training, this is the bar you want to get. Next up, we have powerlifting bars. The main difference between a powerlifting or power bar from Olympic bar is that it's a lot more rigid and stiff to allow for heavier weights to be used. If you compare the strongest clean and jerk at snatch, probably at least 50% of what the strongest you know barbell squat's gonna be so that's why you want something that's a little bit more rigid this is part of why most people like deadlifting with Olympic bars because the extra whip allows them to break the bar off the ground easier but with the stiff power bar and calibrated plates it's much harder to get off the floor although suppose you plan on competing in powerlifting in that case you should definitely invest in a power bar to get used to the feeling they give in a competition. Another minor difference is the markings on the bar. The marks on a power bar are gonna be much closer compared to an Olympic bar to check the bench press's maximum hand position. The final difference that really matters is for the squat, and that is the center knurling that power bars provide. This is basically here to help prevent the bar from sliding down your back while you're squatting. So this is definitely a good feature if you wanna have that extra bit of security while you're moving heavy weights, especially on a squat. So now let's go over Rogue's best powerlifting bars. The absolute best bar that Rogue has for powerlifting is gonna be the Rogue 45 pound Ohio bar and stainless steel. And yes, you're gonna see a ton of Ohio bars in this next section, so just, you know, just expect that. They have some of the best bars on the market and there's a reason that they're on this list. This version of the Ohio power bar is more expensive for a few reasons. First of all, because this bar is finished in stainless steel, it provides a much better oxidation resistance. This makes it lower maintenance to keep in shape, which is always nice, and the aluminum finish also helps prevent chipping and wearing down the finish on the bar. Basically, if you wanted the best power bar the Rogue offers while maintaining its beautiful finish from use, in that case, this is the bar that you want to get. Our runner-up is going to be the Rogue 45-pound Ohio bar, but in black zinc instead of stainless steel. This bar is basically the exact same as the stainless steel variation we just mentioned, but the main difference is it has that black zinc instead of a stainless steel finish. And the cool thing about this is that it still provides great resistance against corrosion, and it just looks pretty damn cool, honestly. Definitely consider this one if you want something that's more of a middle of the road for powerlifting. And finally, for Rogue's budget powerlifting bar, we're going to go with the Boneyard bar. As most of you guys know, Rogue has some of the best bars on the market, but their Boneyard bars are some of the best value you can get in general. They're not always going to be in stock, but the best part about Boneyard bars is just how cheap some of them can be for a simple reason. They're called Boneyard bars simply because they have all of Rogue's standard barbells, durability, and longevity with, you know, little tiny cosmetic issues. Basically anything that has any finish blemishes, knurling inconsistencies, that's what they're going with right here essentially. And I've seen some of these bars go for as low as $185, so you know that it's an incredible deal for this price range. Next up, we have Rogue's multi-purpose barbells. Multi-purpose bars are meant to be a hybrid bar of sorts. Having multiple purposes allows you to get one barbell that can do it all. The best multi-purpose bar the Rogue actually has to offer is the Ohio bar and stainless steel. This is very similar to the stainless steel Ohio power bar we just went over. However, this one's going to be built for Olympic lifting and powerlifting since it's a hybrid bar. This gives it a solid grip, a nice blend of whip and stiffness, and the sleeves spin consistently. Definitely check this one out if you want the best that Rogue has to offer if you're into Olympic lifting, powerlifting, CrossFit, etc. Our runner-up for this section is going to be the Rogue Bar 2.0 in Black Zinc. This is version 2.0 of the original flagship Rogue Bar. Just like the previous bar, it also has dual neural marks for both Olympic and powerlifting. This bar also has the black zinc finish on the shaft, which always looks nice and holds up well over time. But the bar's main feature, which I thought was actually pretty cool, is that it uses composite bushing. This is basically a self 
self-lubricating material and they actually use this in military and aerospace equipment which is totally overkill but for Rogue it kind of makes sense right and the best part about this is that it dramatically reduces friction from high rep training however I definitely say that this is one of the best bars of its kind for those that are interested in powerlifting Olympic lifting and CrossFit training depending on what it is you want to do this is probably one of the best that you're gonna get and finally the best budget multi-purpose bar the Rogue has is the Echo Bar 2.0 this basically has the same quality as their higher price barbells at a budget price this includes the Rogue Echo Power Racks, squat stands, bumper plates, and more. If you want a good budget option, Rogue Echo Bars are a good fit at a solid price point. Next up, we have Specialty Bars. Specialty Bars are a great way to work around injuries or introduce different variations to continue building strength and muscle for life. If you have busted up shoulders, you might not be able to bench with a straight bar, for instance. Rogue has some of the best specialty bars you can get, which is why we'll be covering them now. First up is Rogue Safety Squat Bar. As explained in my Titan Fitness Buying Guide, which you can check out in my last video, or you can check out in the description box on my website. Safety squats are an awesome variation of the barbell squat. The main benefit to these is that they're gonna work your mid, back, and core a lot harder than a straight bar as the camber on the bar is basically trying to crush you into the ground. It's also a lot easier on your shoulders and back as the foam pads and handles allow you to keep your arms in a neutral position in front of your body. For a lot of people that have jacked up shoulders, this is a great thing and something that the Rogue Safety Squat Bar allows you to work around. This bar is also rated for a thousand pounds and makes it easy to set up, unrack the bar, and just get stronger at the squat. Next up, we have Rogue's Trap Bar, which is the TB2 Trap Bar. The trap bar deadlift is my favorite variation of the deadlift you can do. It's definitely superior for beginners and taller lifters as it allows you to set up quickly and get stronger pulling from the floor without overcorrecting your positioning every rep. The TB2 trap bar is fantastic with its high and low handles, which allows taller lifters to deadlift from a more comfortable position. This bar also has some really solid knurling that isn't gonna destroy your hands like a crappier Amazon trap bar is going to. I've used a crappy trap bar for a while and I can definitely confirm that this is the case. Every single one of them is horrible and your hands are gonna get torn up. It's just how it goes. But if you want one of the best trap bars on the market, then the Rogue Strap Bar is what you want to get. Rogue Strap Bar feels great, and it's an absolute tank as well. And finally, the last specialty bar we're going to be going over is the multi-grip bars from Rogue, which is the MG3 multi-grip bar. Rogue has a couple of different multi-grip bars, but I like this one the best by far. The great thing about multi-grip, or football bars as they're sometimes called, is that they allow people with banged up shoulders to press pain-free. Also, unlike many other Swiss, football, and multi-grip barbells out there, all of Rogue's are rackable and power racks. There's actually a lot out there that you can't actually rack with which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me if you have to unrack the bar to do bench press, but you can't rack it, like, I don't get it. But anyways, this bar is also finished with Rogue's black powder coat, so it looks beautiful and performs great as well. Hey everybody, I hope you guys are getting a lot of value from this video. Let me know what Rogue equipment you guys are interested in in the comment section below. But with that, let's get back to the video. Next up, we have Rogue's benches. The type of benches you buy is going to depend on what exercises you plan on doing. If you're just starting out and want something simple that works, you can use a flat bench and be good to go. If you want to buy nice, not twice, you should definitely invest in an adjustable bench. It gives you way more functionality for a little bit more money. The best flat bench that Rogue actually has on offer is their Monster Utility Bench 2.0. There's a lot of benches out there that aren't made by 3x3 11 gauge steel, which is the industry standard. The Monster Utility Bench 2.0 isn't one of those, however. This is probably one of the most stable benches you're going to get at one of the best prices possible. It also has an extra ride rear base for much greater stability with the single front foot. With this design, it's going to allow you to set up your feet better for bench press variations, which is always nice. And it also has a set of wheels built in to quickly move the bench wherever you need to go. And it also has a couple variations to it that you can choose from while you're ordering. If you want the best possible stability and durability, this is the best bench you're going to get for the price. Next up, we have Rogue's Budget Flat Bench, which is the Flat Utility Bench 2.0. I've been using this specific bench for over five years now and it's literally in the same condition as I got it in. The cushion's pretty comfortable and the bench just doesn't move at all considering the price tag. If you want the best budget bench you can from Rogue, this is the one you want to get. Next up, we're going to be going over the adjustable benches that Rogue has, starting with the best one, which is the adjustable bench 2.0. Rogue has multiple adjustable options, but unfortunately, I think they're one of the things that they sell that I can't really recommend due to the price. I'm just not going to be able to recommend an $800 bench such as the AB2 adjustable bench that they have to offer. It's too expensive and it shouldn't cost more than a budget power rack, plates, and a bar combined. And even though it's still really pricey, the only adjustable bench that I can recommend from Rogue is their adjustable bench 2.0. It's well made and just as durable as the more expensive option while having an easily adjustable system in place. You even have the option of adding a spotter deck and a vertical storage bracket to store the bench vertically to save space. If you want to get Rogue quality gear, this is probably the best you're going to get at this price. But as I said, I can't recommend the AB2 as it's just too expensive. Next up, we have Rogue dumbbells. If you're looking to build a commercial gym, you're definitely going to need some dumbbells and Rogue has a couple of options. Rogue has urethane 
polyurethane and hex dumbbells if you're looking for a full set and loadable dumbbells if you just want something more budget friendly for something like a garage gym. After all, no matter how cheap dumbbells might be per dumbbell, you don't just buy one, you have to get a whole set. Otherwise, you can't really progress in weight over time. With that being said, let's go over the dumbbells that Rogue has and what I think is worth the price. First up, we have the best dumbbells, which is Rogue's dumbbell sets. Rogue has a choice between hex and urethane dumbbells, but I definitely think the hex dumbbells are definitely a better buy considering all the money you'll save. I just don't think it's worth the investment between the two. After all, the hex dumbbells are almost $1,000 less for the five to 50 pound set. That's a massive saving and something that doesn't make much sense considering they're basically the exact same thing. In my mind, nothing is worth that $1,000 extra. So I would definitely go with the rubber hex dumbbell set if you need an actual set from them. And the runner up slash budget dumbbells that Rogue has to offer is the loadable dumbbell. Although these are much cheaper than standard dumbbells for the price, I don't really recommend them as other brands such as Titan sell the same thing for a much cheaper price. And the next section is something that a lot of you guys are probably gonna be very interested in, which is Rogue's power racks. This is the equipment that Rogue Fitness is most well known for. A power rack is the most important piece of equipment for a home gym. If there's one piece of equipment you should be shelling out money for, it should absolutely be on the power rack. This one piece of equipment needs to be as sturdy as possible after all. This section was pretty hard to figure out honestly, as they have a ton of racks, rigs, wall mounts, and squat stands to offer. I'm only gonna be going over the power racks at different price points as they provide the most value. I think the best rack that Rogue has to offer is the RM6 Monster Rack 2.0. As the name suggests, this thing is an absolute monster. It has a ton of different customizations depending on what you need. You can pick different colors, hardware finishes, pull-up bars, styles of J-cup, safeties, and more. It's also made from 3x3 11 gauge steel like a lot of Rogue's racks, but it also has oversized one inch hardware to bolt everything together. If you want the absolute best valued rack that Rogue has to offer with the best customization options, the RM6 Monster Rack is what you want to get. Next up, we have the Rogue R3 Power Rack as our runner. This is one of the best racks you can get in this price range on the market. The Rogue R3 Power Rack has a ton of really good reviews and it also has a bunch of customization options as well. You can pick the height, add a bar, bench, and plates all from the product page. You can even add concrete anchor kits if you want to bolt the thing down. The R3 is actually one of the more compact racks in the Rogue Infinity R series, so if you need an awesome rack for a home or garage gym, this rack is perfect. If you want the best runner row option that Rogue has for power racks, the R3 power rack is what you want to get. And finally, the best budget option that Rogue has for their power racks is the RML 90 Slim Rack. The best thing about this budget rack is that it's pretty slim as the name suggests. However, that doesn't mean it's any less durable or stable than Rogue's more expensive options. And while this is definitely a budget option, it's still made by 3x3 11 gauge steel so you don't have to worry about the rack failing on you. And another great feature of the RML 90 Slim is that it still has west side spacing and a black textured finish, monster light J-cups, and you can use it with Rogue's other accessories as well. And because of its small footprint, this really makes this rack perfectly suited for a garage gym as it's just as small as a folding rack with more stability to boot. So if you want the best budget rack that Rogue offers, the RML 90 Slim Power Rack is what you want to get. And finishing up Rogue's best sellers is the weight plates they have available. Plates are one of the things you can absolutely buy used as they're all pretty much the same, honestly. As long as you aren't going and buying crappy bumper plates without a steel core or you're buying weights filled with water or sand, you're probably gonna be fine. But with that said, Let's check out Rogue's best plates. The absolute best plates that Rogue has to offer is their Rogue Training 2.0 plates. The cool thing is these plates are color coded and they're actually used in Reebok's CrossFit games. They have a minimal bounce while dropping them and unlike crappier plates out there, they just aren't gonna break down from frequent use. And while these are a little more expensive than others out there, they're still pretty affordable if you just want a basic set that's literally gonna last you 10 lifetimes. And the best part, you can get these plates individually or in sets and Rogue even offers free shipping on them, which is a huge saving without a doubt. Our runner up plates for Rogue is the Echo Bumper Plates V2. These plates are part of the Rogue Echo series of equipment just like the Rogue Echo Bar 2.0. These are obviously a budget version of the Training 2.0 plates and just like those plates, shipping is included with these as well. But the absolute best part is that these plates are only priced at around $2 per pound. Definitely a great deal with the free shipping. And finally, for budget options, Rogue Basic Olympic plates are what you want to be looking at. These are sold in pairs ranging from 1.25 to 100 pounds and are priced really well. These are less than $2 per pound, which is an incredible deal considering just how much everything's been inflated this year. Rogue is the best in the business and has a ton of awesome equipment that I just don't have the time to go over in one video alone. You really can't go wrong investing in Rogue for your garage gym, but it might be overkill for many people. If you want a more budget friendly option, you can check out my Titan Fitness buying guide here or you can also check it out at my website at DanteRegularStrength.com. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.